Aha, there you are. Good to see you. Hi, it's been like, what, a month since I've seen you at all? Are you ready? We'll start by heading to the camp on Watatsumi Island, and then we'll go meet Her Excellency together from there. If you start to feel seasick at any point during the trip, let me know straight away. That said, you've spent time with the Crux fleet in the past, so I think you'll probably be fine. Doesn't Paimon get seasick? Ready? And away we go! The music here is actually super nice, I will say. This place is actually super gorgeous, too. Like, this entire island is actually incredibly pretty. I'll be staying here for now. If you need me for anything, just come here. Shoot! It's nearly time for the appointment with Her Excellency. Uh, I'll have to show you around Watatsumi Island some other time. For now, let's get ourselves over to Sangonomiya. So, Sangonomiya is the name of the place where Sangonomiya Kokomi lives? Huh. Let's go check it out. What, did you think it'd be something else? Like Bubble Land? It's kind of weird how Tepe has had so many lines. Maybe Tepe is a little more important than we think. We have a fresh batch of supplies in hand, and I'm working on expanding the army. I appreciate that the lack of manpower has been hard on all of you, but things are going to get better. We're expanding the army? Oh, that's great. Whoever this mystery supporter is, they're doing us a great service. Mystery supporter? Tepe, what are you doing back on Watatsumi Island? Might I ask who? <laughs> VIP guests of Her Excellency, that's who. I'm acting under orders to escort them both here. Wait, so are you the new recruit everyone's been talking about? Strength of 20 men splits an arrow in twain from 100 paces. Skin as hard as diamond. Uh, uh, that's you? <laughs> uh, I guess so. Seriously? What is going on with these rumors? Oh, it's Tepe. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Someone wrote to me saying that they wish to support the Watatsumi Island Resistance effort. To that end, they also furnished us with a great deal of supplies. Thanks to them, we can finally start recruiting troops on the scale we need to openly confront the Shogun's army on the front line. I'm kind of sketchy about this. I hereby appoint you as captain of the Watatsumi Island Special Ooh. Operations Unit, Swordfish 2. Nice, I've been promoted. Well, what? Swordfish 2? Is this the same Swordfish Special Ops unit that I'm thinking of? It's hard enough getting into a Special Ops unit at the bottom rung, let alone jumping to Captain <laughs> in one fell swoop. This is incredible. <laughs> Why am I so smug? <laughs> what about me, Your Excellency? Any battles you need me to get involved in? I want to make a contribution to the Resistance too. Of course. I'll arrange something and brief you shortly. All right! One successful operation coming right up! <laughs> you may have swiped the captaincy of Swordfish 2, but watch this space, because this guy's on his way up! Alright, uh, I'll see about that, buddy. Ah, you must be the new captain of Swordfish 2. Her Excellency briefed us in advance. Your reputation precedes you, and the appointment letter is all in order. But I still have my doubts. Oh, wow, okay. I'll be straight with you. I want to know whether you have what it takes to lead us. We're stationed here because of all the Ronin causing trouble in these parts. If you can get rid of them for us, we'll take that as a measure of your strength. Okay. Finally. Okay, seems like you can hold your own. I like how I never actually do any of these fights with the Traveler alone. I should just try doing these story quests with the Traveler alone instead. Thank you. I believe in rewarding merit. So you will be compensated for your hard work. Ooh. Um, let me see. Hmm. Too soon for another promotion, I think. Hmm, I could increase your pay. Where did Tepe go? I gave him an assignment. He's taking part in a surprise attack against the Shogun's Navy. He expressed a desire to be on the front line. So I honored his wishes. Uh, I hope he's gonna be okay long time no see oh so we've been here for a few days now so how's swordfish 2 treating you getting along okay with everyone Eh, they could be a pain in the ass <laughs> well you're in luck because this seasoned veterans got a few leadership tips for you raising their pay will boost morale while giving uh them a few bounties will act as an incentive to go the extra mile it's also important to maintain strict discipline at all times and finally uh wait what was it what was it? <laughs> wow, where'd you learn all that, Tepe? 
I read it in a novel from the Yai Publishing House. It was a long time ago. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many dongo it took to convince my friend to let me borrow it. Uh. You're seriously gonna use a novel to tell people how to run an army? Pretty sure that's called being an armchair general. <laughs> <laughs> that's where you underestimate me. That's right. I'm learning military management on the job now. Just like you. You too? You got promoted? Thanks to my outstanding achievements in the recent naval battle, I have officially been made the captain of my very own special operations unit. Nice. Let's go, Tepe. It's a brand new unit. Herring 1. What do you think? Pretty awesome, right? I spoke to Her Excellency, and she says our uniforms are in production. Let's go collect them together once they're ready. Oh, I can't wait to put them on. We're really gonna look the part. Will Paimon get a uniform too? Of course. You're a recognized member of the Watatsumi Island Resistance. No. <laughs> if you even give her one, is she gonna wear it? Both of us don't even wear anything that they give us. Yikes! A huge lava drill! Oh. Was it drawn out by the Electro Energy? Here we go. This is my first experience doing Traveler only. <laughs> See? Pretty easy. We should probably get going. Who is that? Uh-huh. Tepe? What Wait. are you doing here? That actually is Tepe? Why is his hair gray? <coughs> Bruh. Oh, this is a surprise. I didn't know you were the ones investigating here. Are you alright there, buddy? You're looking slightly the worse for wear. Bruh, this dude's literally aging by the second. But... Now that the Shogun is stripping people of their ambitions with the Vision Hunt Decree, it's time for someone to stand up and stop the Shogun. <coughs> bro. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, bro. We need to get you to a bed. You should report back to Sangonomiya as soon as possible. Don't stay here longer than you need to. Being around the Tatarigami too long won't do your health any good. Uh, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like you're doing too well either. <coughs> Uh, take care of yourself, dude. Hey, don't worry about me. Peak condition. Ah, uh, yes, I'm sure. What's my boy Goro doing here? Uh, what happened? They look so serious. Approximately how many people are exhibiting these symptoms? Uh-oh. Yeah, okay, yeah, there, there's definitely something going on with the army. I haven't had the chance to do a full count yet. Kokomi? Goro? Uh... What's going on? Recently, some of our soldiers started showing symptoms of accelerated aging. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what we saw with Tepe. I called them in for questioning and found out they'd privately acquired some secret weapons from our sponsor. Most of them are highly ambitious types, vehemently opposed to the Vision Hunt Decree. They've been using these new weapons secretly since getting a hold of them. Most of the officers refused to hand them over. Still, I did manage to get one. Do you know something about this? What? Is that a... A, f a delusion? Wait, what? Right now, we need to inform the whole army to cease using their delusions immediately. All soldiers who have shown symptoms are to be taken for treatment. I just hope we'll be in time to save them. Wait a second. Speaking of soldiers with symptoms... Tepe. No! Surely he can't have... Uh, let's go check on him. Bruh, they were just handing out delusions for free? What? Oh, there he is. Tepe! Oh. Oh my. Hey guys, what are you doing here? Jesus Christ, dude. How much have you been using that thing? He's literally on death's door. Just a moment. Let me, let me get up. It's weird. I don't know where all my strength's gone. Tepe, tell me right now. Have you been using that delusion? Oh, right. Yeah. I haven't had time to give you the full details. Well, I made a lot of great contributions to the war effort lately. Fighting <coughs> the Shogun's army at sea. And taking on Shogun at Samurai all by myself. Rescuing my comrades from, from an ambush. Things I never would have dreamed I could do when you first met me. If only I were stronger still. The stronger I am, the more I can do for the resistance. 
Wait a sec. Where's my secret weapon gone? Give me that shit, dude. Why did you start using this thing? Um... <coughs> it wasn't long after you were made captain of Swordfish 2. I met these... Mysterious people. Said they were with our supporters. They gave it to me. And said that... As long as I have the will to become stronger, his secret weapon will answer my call. Uh, yeah, and Tepe's like the perfect person to give it to. <laughs> it's just like a vision, isn't it? Of course, I, I've never used a vision, so I wouldn't know the difference. This is a delusion, buddy. Delusion? Oh god, that doesn't sound very good. So, what's the difference between a, a delusion and a vision? A delusion drains the user's life force instead. Uh, I've been getting more and more tired over the past few days and I have this strange sense of dread. At first I'd find I was a, a little more beat than usual after a battle. Didn't think anything of it. But today, I, I got back and suddenly my vision was going blurry. This is a real shame. There I was, thinking I was catching up with you. <laughs> Bruh. Is this, like, irreversible now? Like, is he forever old? Hey, would, would you do something for me? When our uniforms are ready, grab mine for me. Bring it back here, <coughs> and we can change together. Is this like is this actually like permanent? Is he gonna die in a couple days? What's that look for? Don't worry, partner. As soon as I've rested up, I'll be right as rain. Right as rain, I tell you. As soon as I've rested up. Is he about to die right now? You're joking, right? Bruh. Hey, where are you going? Hey! Uh oh, Ether's mad now. I have put out the order to cease all delusions. The vast majority are showing some loss of vitality, but nothing serious. Sadly, a few have been less fortunate. Your Excellency. I'm planning to establish a dedicated field hospital to monitor their condition. The soldiers are up in arms about the ban, though. They know full well what a delusion is, but they still intend to keep using them. Oh, my. Okay. I'll leave you to deal with the situation. I have to get to the front line. This whole fiasco is certain to be a blow to morale. If the Shogun's army attacks now while we're scrambling to recover, it could well undo everything we have achieved so far. Oh, God. What are your thoughts? I'm gonna go fight some Fatui members. I gotta go blow off some steam real quick. I suspect the site is likely to be the cliffs near the ocean at the southwest of Yashiori Island. Okay. I'm not going to stop you, but please be careful. We have lost too many courageous fighters already. I don't want to lose you too. Oh, I'm mad bad. Huh? You mean... To the delusion factory? Damn. <laughs> I've never seen Ether that mad. Really? You aren't gonna think it over first? Ugh. Fine. Oh, it's in here? So that's the crack that I was looking for, Victory. Ow! What, what was that? Was that a trap? Wait. Oh, it is! <laughs> so, is this what delusions are? Are they getting this from Rito? So the Conjure Commission are... Uh. Oh, they're all... Oh. So the Conjure Commission Freeze. is literally giving the Fatui resources to create delusions. There's no way the Raiden Shogun would allow this, right? Intruder spotted! Do not let them impede the work of the Harbingers! Don't be intimidated! Lord Harbinger will be here soon. Lord Harbinger? Oh shit, the Harbinger is coming here. In this 
body ah! belongs to ice and snow. You actually managed to find what? this place. Congratulations. Scaramouche? It <laughs> That was kind of a weak reveal. I didn't expect him to be here right now. <laughs> All right, well, what's up, Scaramouche? Long time no see. <laughs> Barely two words in, and you already look like you want me dead. So you're manufacturing delusions. Oh, so that's what this is about. I think you've got the wrong idea. I know how this looks, but I'm just here to follow orders. I'm obviously not the mastermind behind this. Aren't you supposed to be pretty tough? What are you waiting for? Go get them. You're getting all worked up over nothing. <laughs> You've changed. You're getting weak. How can you say this is nothing? How can you call it anything more? It's the way of the world. Human life is worthless. Oh boy. They were always going to die, with or without a delusion. At least having one gives them a chance to fulfill their ambitions. I mean, he's not wrong, but like, <laughs> that's literally like accelerating your death. Do you have any idea how useful the vision hunt decree is to us? It took a lot of work to make it happen. Obviously, it was in our best interests. Good news is, our hard work is finally paying off. Generating conflict creates a big market for delusions. Now we just let the promise of power draw in the weak. For just a small price, they get the feeling of controlling the world, trading their life for supreme power. Pretty good deal, don't mm. you think? No, <laughs> no, no thanks. From the outside, Inazuma looks pretty impenetrable. But on the inside, it's a land of opportunity. With a little effort, we were able to break them down from within. Eternity stretches things out over a long time, but each moment within it becomes all the more fragile. Take your friend in the resistance, for example. There's nothing you can do now. He's a lost cause. Oh no, is he gonna... Oh, I don't want Tepe to die. Just like a bubble on the water. Beautiful for a moment, then total destruction. The more it takes from them, the more tightly they hold on to it. And the more incompetent they are, the more determined they are to fight it. <laughs> it's such a farce. You have to see the funny side. All right, stop mocking my boy Tepe like that, all right? You're going a bit too far. <laughs> What's happening? That's it. Just like that. Embrace the anger. Oh. Embrace it. He's using our the anger. The wrath of the gods us. fills his factory, and it feeds on your anger. <laughs> oh. Yai. Repeat after me. Three, two. One, one, two, three. <sighs> Come on. Wait, we got saved by her. Okay, that's positive. Your brain seems relatively unscathed. This is good news. Uh, how come you're acting so differently from when we first met you? Am I? Maybe it's because I had the other shrine maidens leave. Anyway, I've always been like this. People show you whatever side of themselves they want you to see. I know this for a fact. Every side of me is the real me. People just like to define things in all sorts of arbitrary ways. This is a human society. <sighs> At the moment, anyway. And I'm just doing as I please. Yeah, so she is a fox on her way. How did you save me from Scaramouche? What if I told you it was a secret art from the Grand Narukami Shrine? And that I had the balladeer down on his knees, begging for mercy in an instant. Would you believe me? Uh, <laughs> uh that's kind of hard to believe, but, uh, maybe? <laughs> well, maybe you should be worrying less about that, and more about how exactly you're going oh. to thank me, no? Oh, oh, my bad. Hmm, maybe some of your neural circuitry is less intact than I thought. Thank you, Yai-sama. 
I didn't mean you had to be so formal about it. I need your actions, not your words. <laughs> the leader of Watatsumi Island took some troops to clear the place out. She's also issued a strict ban on the use of delusions across the whole army. With their stronghold exposed, I doubt the Balladeer is stubborn enough to try and retaliate now on his colleague's behalf. It would be more trouble than it's worth. Ah, oh, I must say, I would relish the opportunity to watch the Fatui getting a taste of their own medicine. Anyway, I'm only telling you this to stop you worrying so that you can focus on something I need you to do for me. You've met her, right? The riding Shogun? I'm not talking about the puppet. Wait. I mean her. You've met her, yes? Wait, so there's two? Yes. The true Raiden Shogun, who meditates endlessly in the plain of Euthymia to preserve her being. No way. Her name is A. A. Before pursuing the eternity of her nation, she had to reach eternity for herself. Since the physical body will eventually turn to dust, she replaced hers with that of a puppet. And since the spirit is susceptible to erosion, she placed her consciousness inside her sword, where she remains in a meditative state, free from all disturbances. So, that place that she carved open with her sword... The plane of Euthymia. Essentially, the world inside her mind. A place that typically only allows her existence. So what happens when somebody invades it? She shuts herself off in her inner world, leaving all the affairs of the outside world to be dealt with by a puppet, who has a singular focus on the pursuit of eternity. Hmm. Huh. This is the approach A has come up with for realizing eternity. Well, that's super flawed. Scaramouz was right. That was su that's super easy to exploit. Yeah, Zhang Li also mentioned erosion. You mean Morax? Hmm, it's been a while since I last saw him. A surprising decision by Liu as Archon. What a fascinating god he is. It seems like the Raiden Shogun's approach solves the problem Zhang Li was facing, though. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps. Or you could take the view that she's acting like a little child, throwing a temper tantrum and locking herself in her room. <laughs> don't you think? Maybe. I don't. I don't know. The grand notion of eternity she once held has long since given way to the eternity of her own definition. And ultimately, her eternity is defined by fear. The fear of loss. The truth is, we are on the same side. You want to save the people of Inazuma from the Vision Hunt Decree. So do I. The only difference is that I'd rather like to save this nation and save A while we're at it. The key is that the plane of Euthymia represents A's inner world. Defeat her there, and you may well have the chance to shake the Raiden Shogun's will. I gotta defeat A in that form? Oh boy. Don't you realize how special you are? Remember, the plane of Euthymia is a space where only she is allowed to exist. The fact that you could appear there tells us one crucial thing. That you have piqued her interest. Perhaps it's because she has never seen an individual who is so unpredictable in the face of eternity. Has no one else ever been in there? None. No one has seen the devotee of eternity since she shut herself away. In fact, no one even knows what it looks like in there. So I'm literally the only person that knows. Your existence is more than just an opportunity. It's the very key to all of this. To that I say, well done, child. You did not disappoint me after all. You're welcome. Wait, you're leaving? Where are you going? anti riding Shogun training. Uh. I've prepared a special program just for you.